Yeah, I think you went in pretty deep, too. Yeah, yeah, I think so. By the way, not looking your age certainly helps, uh, which leads us to this next segment. Good day on Health Watch, covering the always hot topic of plastic surgery. Many people are looking into treatments and touch-ups this holiday season, but there's a lot to consider, at least that you should consider, before taking the leap. So here with the pros and cons to keep in mind is Dr. Jennifer Parker Porter of Chevy Chase Facial Plastic Surgery. Good morning to you. Thanks for joining me. Good morning. Me. You Thank know, this, you. Is, this is a fascinating topic for me. I haven't gotten anything done, but it's always interesting to see what's out there. Uh, let's start with the basics here. You've been you've been doing this for 25 years. 25 years My in goodness. practice. Yeah. And so I've seen a lot through the years. There's yeah. been a lot of transformation as far as technology that mm -hmm. we have available. And so, you know, it's nice to see also the surgical parts yeah. come, come to fruition and have natural results. So let's talk about the surgical versus non-surgical. What, mm -hmm. what is it first off and then the pros and cons? Yeah, so non-surgical, I think everybody's familiar with things like Botox mm -hmm. and fillers. There's lasers, skin care treatments, all sorts of things that can really, you know, do yeah. a little something for the day to day. And then there's surgery, obviously, which is like a facelift mm -hmm. or eyelids, noses, just little things that people are bothered yeah. by and want to change. Give me an example of, of something where um, perhaps you would want to go to sur the surgical route or in another case, non-surgical is recommended. How do you right. decide? So rhinoplasty, mm -hmm. which is one of my specialties, I think that is one way that you'd want to go surgical yeah. because to continually put fillers in your nose, which is not mm. ultimately safe all the time, um, is not the best thing. So I would say that would be a surgical route, whereas some of the non-surgical things that are rejuvenative, those things you can do dabble in. Yeah. And then there might come a time when surgery might be the more appropriate thing. Give me an example of non-surgical procedures that are actually really effective, where you get bang for your buck. Yeah, so Morpheus skin tightening or any type of huh. skin tightening treatment is good. It just prolongs the health of the skin. Mm -hmm. um, Botox I love. And yeah. there's a newer one that's um, just going to help rejuvenate a little bit longer mm -hmm. than the traditional Botox and look very natural. Is there so. any surgical procedure where you would ask people to seriously consider, um, given some of the risks, um, mm -hmm. whether they, it's something that they should get? Well, you have to look at the health of the patient, yeah. their lifestyle, what it is that they're trying to achieve. And so I think once we take all those things into account mm -hmm. and we decide like which, which way they want to go. So facelift, for instance, would be something that will take a little bit longer to recover, yeah. but you're going to have that result for a lot longer than you would with these things. How do you make sure you're going to the right person? Because a procedure uh, can have, maybe it does or doesn't have its serious risks, but the person who's actually doing it uh, is a big part of that equation. How do you determine this person right. is legit and you're not just going off of how many followers they got on yeah, social media? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that is, that is huge. So you want to make sure you're going to a board-certified facial plastic surgeon or a board-certified plastic surgeon to do your surgery. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to be trained well, um, typically have experience, and also you want to look at their before and after pictures and yeah. make sure that is the aesthetic that you want to achieve. And, and, and to wrap up here, I know with the onset of filters and photoshopping mm -hmm. and, and all of that, um, I, I wonder if you've got to tell folks to be a little realistic. Like, are you seeing folks being increasingly unrealistic? Oh, absolutely. Well, yes. Ever since the filters came out, yeah. you know, they look at that, they say, oh, well, I want to look like this or somebody that has all this makeup on. Yeah. I'm like, that is not real. That is, that is <laughs> a, that's a pipe dream, right. you know, but this is reality mm -hmm. and this is what we can do so and be realistic it doesn't exactly. just fix the surface exactly. you want to do some, some yes. work on the inside you're as right well. right yeah. that's a, a big part of but it. if I want to do work on the outside how can I get a hold of you <laughs> oh we're right across the street uh, Chevy Chase facial plastic surgery it's on uh, Wisconsin Avenue right downtown Bethesda okay and I know you've won many awards uh, she knows what she's talking about folks I'll put it at that uh, that you can follow her there on social media as well thanks for joining us all right thanks so much all right 920